Let's go back. Too far, too far to uh, 1982. It began with horse figurines and decided to adapt it into a television series because the toy line was doing so well. Since the show was based on toys, there wasn't much flexibility in the design and movement of the characters. Despite this, there were television specials, a movie, two seasons bounded by the 65 episode law, and My Little Pony Tales. They redesigned the toys but it wasn't popular so the show didn't get made. Try again. Gen 3 went back to Gen 1 in terms of style, appealed to a much younger audience, had three versions which were worse than the last. So let's cut it right there. Hey, I have this new idea called Milky Way and the Galaxy Girls. No, how about you make another reboot of MLP? K. Growing up with MLP, Lauren Faust took the core characters of Gen 3, Slice of Life from Tales, Fantasy from Gen 1, made a design overhaul, and reused casts. She generated a believable world and was the OIC of Season 1. Technology has improved and MLP went from hand-drawn animation to Macromedia Flash to Adobe Flash, then Toon Boom Animation, which contributed to the more modern, clean vector aesthetic we see in Generation 4. Lauren held her duties to Stephen Davis and Megan McCarthy after season 2 and surrendered creative freedom and her influence on the show. This caused the story to deviate from what she initially viewed the show to be and could only sit back and watch as the storm unfolds itself. My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic is a fantasy, adventure, comedy cartoon set in the land of Equestria, with these main locations, most of them horse puns. Each pony of the main six is an archetype of common personalities and makes them relatable like girls in a K-pop group, which results in people having a best pony. Three of the personalities clash with the other three, generating plot and character developments. Main Six goes around Equestria solving friendship problems, defeating and reforming evil characters, and focusing on their personal goals. Most episodes come tagged with a friendship lesson as a requirement by Hasbro. Season 1 made their lessons obvious as Twilight writes, after every episode about what she learned. And this formula was broken in Season 2, Episode 3, and expanded to her friends, then to a shared journal. There are many subplots dotted and referenced throughout the ever-expanding My Little Pony Friendship is Magic series chronology. Here are the list of episodes with 7 seasons and 6 movies, some specials and a comic series. Focus on what's on TV. Here are all the episodes. This is the order you're supposed to watch it in. If you're new and short of time, I'll help. First, remove filler episodes. Then, categorize remaining episodes into 4 sections. Overarching story, character-based, Equestria Girls, and plainly good episodes. Take a screenshot now. These are optional to watch, and I'll touch on these later. Let's remove them. If you want to know more about a specific character, watch these episodes. The overarching story is told here. Some episodes can be summarized with a few words, which I will do now. Combining the two sections together gives a really condensed playlist of important episodes that summarize the entire MLP universe and its population. Rearranging the watch order will give first-time viewers a better understanding of the story flow. Time is measured in year, moon, and day, where the period of a moon and a year is not clearly defined but constantly referenced. The events are in order, but the length of time remains haywire, and what binds all these together are the elements of harmony. The Elements of Harmony is a recurring subject which ties the main six because they must work together to unlock its abilities to defeat villains and stop catastrophes that pop up throughout the seasons. Each character represents an element, which is a trait they demonstrated in the first two episodes. The Elements acts as a trump card, kind of like Saitama's Punch, which nullifies all tensions built up throughout the episode, and all problems can be solved by zapping the enemy with a rainbow ray. Season 5 replaces this convenient plot device for another convenient plot device, an extension of the element the cutie map. Now, only characters and their traits required to tell the story of the episode is already determined by the map, so the writers don't have to work in the story to include the entire main six. This may seem too convenient, but when there are eight main characters and a growing number of supporting characters, some not even ponies, it becomes confusing for new viewers and less screen time can be dedicated for each character.
Character design. The design of ponies across generations have been simplified and body ratios exaggerated. The color palette, manes, and cutie marks remain the staple. Here's the Gen 4 design. Start with a circle. Add a gradient color. Make a pie chart. Add black filling, two white ovals, squish it down, you get the eyes. Add nose, forehead, ears, neck, body, legs, you get a base. Females have rounder heads and a smaller nose. Males have larger, angular heads, where the forehead to the nose is one straight line. Foals have an exaggerated head to body ratio. Go the opposite direction and you get a mare. Take a base. It's an earth pony. At a horn, you get a unicorn. At wings, you get pegasi. At both, you get an elicorn. Add specific designs together to get a specific race. Add a custom mane, eyes, cutie mark, and tail to get a specific character. Mix and match designs to get an abomination. Completely change the species and you get the Questia Girl. The Quest Track Girls are a series of movie specials that slot conveniently into the end of a season and takes place in an alternate dimension, linked by a magical portal and a WhatsApp book. Baddies in Equestria are banished to this world so they can't do any harm and their magic is nerfed. Spoiler alert, it's not. Val, please fix. Humanized versions of the main six, then seven, then six, and seven again are guardians of horse magic in the human world, defeating evil with friendship and the same magical ray. For the history of Equestria Girls, read MLP Comic Specials 1, then watch the movies in this order. Equestria Girls is trying to branch out to cover the slice of life segment and make the show more relatable. It's just the producers trying to connect with the young audience and expand the toy line. Hey, my kids are texting using emojis. You mean like this? Great idea. Sports day? Yes. Summer camp? Wonderful. Selfies? You got it. Drones? Definitely. Swimsuits? Yes. Hold up. Swimsuits. Black Relationships. <laughs> Mm. Oh, okay, okay, stop. <laughs> my, my face actually doesn't matter because anyway, I'm gonna plaster the Hasbro logo over.